What game am I most ashamed of that I never played? Why, Dead or Alive Extreme 3, of course. How have I not played this yet? Great physics, among other things? I need to play this at some point. But we're not talking about a 100% innocent volleyball game. We're talking about my shameful JRPG backlog. Hey everyone, how's it going? Total Level here to share with you my shameful JRPG backlog. We all have that big backlog of games to get through, and if you're like me and love RPGs, then there's going to be many on that backlog list. Now, I could talk about singular games that I haven't played through yet that are many years old, but I'm going to do things a bit different here and talk about big JRPG series that I have even played through one game of yet, or I only finished one or two games that has at least three games in its series. This way, everyone can make fun of me, or kindly yell in the comments at me to which JRPG series I need to play right now. Also, I'll just quickly throw Dark Souls games on here before we start, as I just suck at them, so yeah, those will be on the backlog for a long time. I did beat Bloodborne though, so at least there's that. Anyways, I picked 8 series here, so let's take a look at that shameful JRPG backlog of mine. First up is the Breath of Fire series, so this is one that I do plan on hopefully getting through at least one game this year. Just want to get through a few other JRPGs first, but we'll see, right? As definitely hear a lot of things about at least the first two games being a bit rough to get through. 3 and 4 are really good, especially 4 I hear. Dragon's Quarter I hear kind of makes things about, and then there's also a Breath of Fire 6, but I think that's like a mobile title, so... Yeah, probably won't ever play that, not even sure if it came out of Japan or not anyways, but... Yeah, this was a series that has always intrigued me, one that I do want to play through, just... Yeah, a lot of things get in the way, and when I hear about how rough some of the parts for 1 and 2 are, it makes me kind of hesitant to play through this, but people say, you know, just give it a shot, because if you get through these games, then you'll probably enjoy, like, really appreciate 3 and 4 a lot more, right? So, yeah, we'll see, but yeah, there's so many JRPGs to get through, so let me know what you guys think. Next on the shameful backlog is Parasite Eve, so yeah, I haven't played and beat any of these games. I did play a little bit of the first game and really enjoyed it, you know, really cool kind of RPG, you know, Resident Evil RPG type of thing, right? Where, you know, it falls this police officer, Aya, who's trying to stop this woman named Eve, who's trying to destroy the whole human race through spontaneous combustion it's kind of weird but yeah it's really cool i like the combat system in this kind of blend of turn base and slight action because you're kind of moving around to dodge certain attacks and everything right and you're kind of micromanaging ammo though early on it's pretty easy to get ammo right as yeah not sure how difficult it gets later on through the game but yeah, this is one that I definitely plan on playing at some point. I really enjoyed my short time with the first game, right? So I do want to play more of this. I know as the series went on with Parasite Eve 2 and then the third birthday on PSP that it changed a lot of the formula. Like, I think the third birthday is basically a third-person shooter. Someone can let me know if that's correct or not. You know, if it's something like Dirge of Cerberus. Final Fantasy 7 on PS2, right? But yeah, I do plan on playing this at some point, but again, I have to see, like, man, it's hard to pick and choose, and that's why it's fun to do this type of video because I get to kind of play these games to record a little bit and kind of get an idea of which ones I might want to play after I get through one or two other JRPGs first, right? Next, we have Summon Knight, so this is another series that I never beat. I have played the sixth game in the mainline series, which is sadly the last one that came out in this series, as... 
Yeah, a pretty fun game. I haven't beat it yet, though, but the parts I played is a pretty fun kind of tactical strategy type of game, right? As that's kind of what the mainline games are, and then you have the spin-offs, which, yeah, for this video, I checked out Swordcraft Story on the Game Boy Advance, which the little bit I played was pretty fun. Combat was a bit like Tales of Destiny, kind of this 2D plane, but bit of an action style, though. For Game Boy Advance, it's very limited, right? You only have kind of A and B buttons to hit, you know, L and R, right? So, not much to do in combat-wise, but it was still pretty fun, the little bit I played of that, and it's definitely a series that I do want to get into, I do want to play, you know, because it does look like a lot of fun, and again, the little bits I played here and there were pretty fun, but... Yeah, I also have to be in the right mood for strategy kind games, right? Because one, I'm not very good at them, and two, like I said, just have to be in the right mood for a lot of them, as why not talk about the next kind big strategy RPG that I really haven't played here? And that series is none other than Fire Emblem, so yeah, I'm way behind on my Fire Emblem. Games as the only two I beat is Path of Radiance on GameCube and Awakening on the 3DS. Both excellent games, but yeah, I need to get into the series a lot more. Just like I said, need to be in the right mood for kind of strategy games and everything like that. But you know, Fire Emblem, amazing characters, great stories, and cool social elements to these games too, and kind of that risk reward factor and that devastation when when your favorite party members perishes in battle and you know if you're not playing in casual mode that is and having to use someone else and oh there's so much to love about Fire Emblem so yeah I do plan on playing through these games a lot more. Engage is probably where I'm going to start with just because I hear mix things with people with that one right of <laughs> You know, a lot of people love it, but there's those that found it disappointing because of the story, and I think they removed social elements from, you know, that were kind in other entries. So I'm not 100% sure, someone can let me know in the comments about that, but, you know, want to start there to just kind of see, because I think if I start there, I'll probably really enjoy it and then play the other ones and get a feel for it but yeah this is a series that I really need to get into the game more <laughs> because yeah I'm far behind on Fire Emblem. Up next we have the Lunar Games so there's five games in this series I believe though we only got three over here with the best one of course being Dragon Song. Everyone loves this game so so much right? I know everyone does. Okay how many people did I trigger? How many people have turned off this video because I heard that we're not supposed to speak of this game in the Lunar community. Anyways, with the first two games, hear so many great things about this and even just recording the little bit on the PSP version of this because the first game had like two or three different remakes done on it. So yeah, checked out the PSP one and even just a little bit I played of this one, man, I did not want to stop, so I think after get through some of that backlog, this might actually be the series I start with because I was having so much fun with this game and, you know, that that's what's so fun about doing this type of video is, yeah, talking about my shameful backlog, but, you know, recording these games, checking them out and being like, Hey, this is a lot of fun. Maybe I'll play this soon. So, yeah, I think Lunar will be my next one on that list of all these games to start with first. But, yeah, so far, just so many great games that, yeah, I'm ashamed that I haven't checked out yet. Next, we have the Wild Arms game. So, the only one I beat in this series so far is Wild Arms 5, which I personally really enjoyed. I thought that game was a lot fun. So, yeah, definitely on my list to check out more of, especially now that we have 1, 2, and 3 on PS4, PS5, right, to check out. So, I definitely 
want to now a lot more as, you know, I just really like the idea of kind of Western theme RPG, right? You never really see that too much, especially in the JRPG side of things, right? So, really cool series, and I like how a lot of these well arm games you're kind of playing as different people at the start and then they all kind of connect to each other at some point, right? And <laughs> that's really cool, just the little bit I recorded for a couple of these older games, right? And yeah, I am really looking forward to Arm Fantasia 2, the spiritual successor, which I hope they found a publisher because I know for Penny Blood, the spiritual successor to Shadow Hearts, that they were having troubles with a publisher and everything, so I hope all that goes okay, but yeah, Wild Arms definitely a series that I need to check out. Next up on my shameful backlog of JRPGs is the Shin Megami Tensei games, which yeah, I'm very ashamed of this being on my backlog because of how much I love the Persona games, right? Because for the mainline games of these Shin Megami games, I haven't beat one yet, and for spin-offs except for Persona, I think the only one I might have beaten was Soul Hackers. There might have been one or two others, but I can't really remember. But yeah, for the main series, man, I still way, way behind and way behind on all the spin-offs. I mean, there's so many games that, of course, there's going to be a backlog, but it is a bit shameful for me to not even beat one of the mainline games as I have 2, 3, 4, and 5 all physical because I have the original Super Famicom version of uh, 2, right? Complete in box, but yeah, I just <laughs> haven't gone through these yet as these Shin Megami games kind of takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where the world has ended and is kind of ruled by demons and this kind of battle between angels and demons, right? So, <laughs> you know, really interesting stuff. Just, yeah, I really need to get on it. I know I do. And yeah, I keep just lagging behind on this series and I don't know why considering just how much I love this property and these demon characters, right? So, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> and the final game on this backlog of shamefulness is Zooey Coden. So, I was actually planning on playing this game, this series, last year in 2023. And then the HD remasters were announced for 1 and 2. And we're still waiting for them, so yeah, we appreciate an update on that. Hopefully they're still coming. I'm scared they're going to be cancelled. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you never know, right? As <laughs> yeah, this is a series I hear nothing but amazing things about. The one I played for this video was 4 because I was checking out kind of where the timeline starts, if it's all in order or not, and I guess 4 takes place like hundreds of years before the events of even 1 and 2 and then after 4 it goes to like tactics and after tactics I think it's 5, I'm not 100% sure but it's, yeah so maybe I'll just start doing that kind of play 4, tactics and 5 kind of go through that timeline and we'll see, I'm not sure yet but yeah you guys can let me know in the Comments below if you played all the Sui Coden games, right? Because, yeah, I hear just so many great things. I want to play this series so bad before I play Ayuden Chronicle 100 Heroes, right? As, yeah, I just... <laughs> I just want to know if those HD remasters are coming, but... Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and so, that's my shameful list of JRPGs that are on my backlog big series that I've still yet to beat a single game in or I only beat one or two where there's like 10 or more games in these series so let me know what you all think in the comments down below which series should I play right now start with yell at me in the comments for not playing these games and I would love to hear your 
kind of JRPG backlog games that, you know, you <laughs> should have gone through way before, but for various reasons you still haven't yet. We'd love to hear all your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks everyone so much for watching, really appreciate it, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye! What is this trailer by the way? Where's the volleyball gameplay? All I keep seeing are butt battles and boob shots. No wonder why I haven't played this yet. I'm here for the volleyball and nothing else at all. Adding to cart? Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, or if you just want to see any of my skits and then nothing else and leave the video, that's fine too. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care.